Okay. I'm going to start that again. Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. Uh, welcome to Community Christian Church Foundation's Bible Study, uh, Sunday, June 14th. Uh, we're in actually virtual lesson three, so i got so many slides I uh, keep changing them. But uh, anyways, we're in the book of Hebrews. Uh, and welcome. We'll get started in a little bit. Uh, again, we can always be found at cccroundrock.net. Uh, um, and phone number, find us at Facebook. That's where you can find the live stream if you don't want to join us for um, at, the, at the church building on Sundays. Um, again, um, for announcements real quick, CCC, the Gospel Project uh, for the kids, the youth, uh, is online. Uh, don't forget you can make your donations online, too at the uh, website. Uh, June 21st is our next Sunday service at 1030. Please RSVP by mail and how many people are coming so we can set up uh, the chairs and get everything right. Uh, we had 55 today. I think 55, 56. Uh, so that's good. That's really good. People are starting to come out covering their faces and uh, being careful, but it's good to, good to get together and do a little fellowship. Uh, weekly, weekly CCC email. Uh, opening protocol, um, you know, it'll give you the guidelines uh, of when we're meeting, how we're meeting, and and some of the precautions that are recommended by the uh, by um, the CDC and whoever else is in charge of that. Live stream is still available on Facebook, 10:30 on Sundays, and don't forget the Zoom Bible studies are still running, rocking and rolling. Tuesday evening is uh, Hugh Baggett on Romans. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Heidi's uh, doing Wednesday, ladies, whatever they're doing. So uh, 7 p.m. on each. Um, we'll get into praise and prayers. Uh, obviously, we always keep uh, the COVID situation uh, in prayer. And, you know, we, we get some racial unrest. Uh, we've got some, some rioting out there. We've got some protests. Protests are good. Rioting, not so good. So, again, you know, we, we ask that God, God uh, intervene here, can get, keep calm, keep peace, uh, and keep rational heads here. Uh, praise God for prayer grant and Round Rock and the leaders who are committed to demonstrating God's unity. Uh, these are from our Monday, last Monday um, email. So uh, prayers for our nation, local civic leaders, church leaders, pray for a church to rise up with spirits of grace and conviction. Uh, prayers, please, I'm still trying to sell my Alabama property. Oops, put a little thing in there. Uh, prayers for my friend, Mary Bell. Mary has uh, asked for prayers as she being admitted to the hospital today. That would have been Monday, Tuesday. Uh, so we have to follow up on that. We're always a little bit behind on this. Prayers for Connie B's grandson, baby PJ. He was taken to the hospital because of high fever. Uh, spinal tap was attempted, but it was unsuccessful. I think he might still be in the hospital. Um, asked for prayers for my son-in-law, Tim. As a matter of fact, he is going into surgery. Uh, uh, Kenny told us he's going into surgery tomorrow, the 15th. Oh, there it is, June 15th. Uh, prayer for revival in our nation, that we may seek God's peace, wisdom, and goodness, forgiveness. Ooh, try that again. Uh, safety and opening, and of course, send your prayer list, uh, prayers and praises to uh, office at cccroundrock.net. Um, PJ also said they're still testing his dad. Uh, I think he said he was out of the hospital, and then Janie Trask today said she's on some new medication, so hopefully that'll help out too. So let's go ahead and open with a word of prayer, and then we will get into uh, our study of Hebrews. Our grace and heavenly Father, thank you for this day, and thank you for all you've provided for us. Uh, you continue to bless us and grace us. Uh, you continue to uh, be active in, in, in the world, even though some people may not see it. Father, we have a long list of prayers and praises. Uh, again, we ask that you uh, continue to uh, convict the world of, uh, of who you are and, and, uh, and let them see the love and peace in you. Let them uh, become more rational uh, in their protests. Let them become more rational in, in uh, dealing with this crisis uh, of uh, the COVID-19. Father, I ask that you be with our government leaders, our first responders, uh, the doctors and nurses, uh, firemen, police, uh, all in this upheaval time, um, kind of a double whammy, perfect storm. Uh, we ask that you give them wisdom, guidance, uh, calm, and peace. Uh, Father, we uh, thank you uh, 
so much for your son who died on the cross for our sins, which we bring to you daily, weekly. However, uh, I ask that you uh, uh, always uh, be with be with me and my disobedience to 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 your word, uh, Father. Um, forgive us as as we go about our day. Forgive us when we do um, trip and fall, which we're all going to do. Uh, Father, I ask uh, during this. Uh, Bible study on, on Hebrews that you uh, be in my heart, be in my mind, so that the words that come out of my mouth are your words that you, I'm teaching what you want me to teach. Um, and we uh, love you and we worship you and we praise you and we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. So I'm going to move out of the screen like I normally do, go over here. I actually, like I said, we're still in Logan's room or the studio. Uh, and I can actually walk. There's no clothes, but it keeps it so dark in here. I don't know. Kids, teenagers, what are you going to do? All right, so let's get going here. We are in uh, Hebrews chapter 2. Hey, I'm going to check the volume real quick just to make sure. 